Hello, welcome to the Batlin Barrow Gaming. My name's Kev. I've always wanted a Nagash model. Mm -hmm. No, not you, spiky long limb Nagash. Mm -hmm. Yes, you. Um, this model always comes up on like the worst GW sculpts ever, the ugliest models ever. It always comes up on lists like that, and I don't understand why. I think it's brilliant. It's something really charming. I guess it's my my the aesthetics I like in uh, Warhammer models anyway. Very old hammer, very that kind of late eighties, early nineties. I just love the aesthetic of what was going on at the time, and this fits right in. And I've always wanted one of these models. Um, so I had a little look on eBay. I think it's Halloween. Might as well Halloween sort of era time. Might as well. And I come across uh, a seller called uh, Mikey Likes a Deal, which was a cool name anyway. And he was selling uh, this uh, Nagash model so I had a bid on it and one of the things what I liked about this was the uh, description which I'm going to read to you uh, now and bring up on the screen so you were viewing the greatest source forever I heard he slapped Telkis for a laugh and drew a fake moustache on his face discontinued model buy it now or never own him and so you know that got me uh, although you don't own the gash he owns you Model is painted badly, but frankly, looking at the standards on here, he is pro painted. Pleasure, understand you're paying for model, not my. Inf Please understand you're paying for the model, not my enthusiastic but unskilled teenage years painting ability. And I fell in love with that description, so I put a bid on, contact the and said, "Look, if I win, do you mind if I do this this video?" And he was more than kind enough to to say yes. So. I'm in time of recording this. I've won and I'm expecting the package, uh, so um, I can't wait. I just found that really, really nice um, because one, it's like me. I've got so many models in my back catalog. Sounds like the same sort of age as me, where you know, young Kev, he didn't really know how to paint. And next month, we're going to take steps to change that, and we're going to. Yeah, I'm not a bad painter. I'm very sort of tabletop standard painting. Hang on, let me just see if I can grab something like this so it's close at hand. So I don't know if it's going to focus in. It probably won't. But we have this guy. It's it's not bad. It's not great. It is what it is. So I'm hoping to improve my painting. Um, but anyway, this this video, what it's about, I just wanted to get in the gash. I wanted to have a look at it. I wanted to... I mean, looking at the picture, it doesn't look too badly painted. So... Um, I may not even have to do anything. I probably will, because even if I got something that was extremely well painted and program, I'd probably still strip it and paint in my own style anyway, because I like painting. So, yeah, so this video is about me just getting in the Gash model, having a look at it, and maybe having a paint at it. I'm not going to do a paint guide for it. I'm not that skilled to establish this. I just want to get this in the Gash model, have a look at it. It seemed fitting being it's October. So, yeah, I'm just waiting on the delivery now. So this is the package that's come. It's a bit bigger than what I was expecting, but when I opened it, it had this note in, which says, uh, G'day, Kevin. I love the message you sent me. I'm glad Nagash is going to a good home. I have included the last of my skeleton army. I was touched by your message, and I wanted to show some appreciation. It's not much, but so long as you have five in a unit, you can just add three D6 each turn. All the best, Mike. So what is in here? And oh wow, I was not expecting this. We got some skeleton chariot things, which is cool. Ironically, I was looking at getting some of these, so this is brilliant. Oh, metal skeleton. I'll have a look at you in a minute. These, I um, was not expecting this. Um, there's there's loads of chariots in here. I have to uh, repair some, but he's. The skeleton. He seems to be missing an arm. Not, not to worry about that. Got plenty of skeleton arms I could use. Just more chariots and skeleton horses and oh, a zombie. Uh, I recognise this. I've just painted twenty of those. Oh yeah, he's cool. I like him. Just skeleton horses. 
There's so much here. Ah, I'm assuming this is a chariot here with his big long spear thing. We can go in there. Wow, uh, another one. Again, missing an arm, but I'm not worried. Skeleton arms, got loads of. No head. I wonder if it's in the box somewhere. Ah, another metal skeleton pointing. I think it's the same as the other one. Yeah, it's the same one. Not seen this kind before though, so that's cool. Uh, still loads of bits in here. So there's another chariot missing a wheel, but it looks things that could be in here. Let's uh, move this. Uh, what's this? It's another another chariot. Oh my! Got loads. I was not expecting this. This is amazing. Uh, skeleton horses. I'm kind of in love with these skeleton horses. Uh, what have we got here? Ah, oh, wow. Old school, old school skeletons. These are the first ever Games Workshop miniatures I bought this type. I remember buying a box set in the late 80s. And if you've been watching the videos this month, you'll be seeing I've been using some of these in terrain pieces uh, that are broken and dead, but my camera would autofocus, which is not. Uh, so yeah, I love those type of skeletons. They're a bit more realistic than the later ones that come. Ah! Skeleton horse head. Boom. There we go. That's a complete skeleton horse. Still more stuff. Ooh, shield. Excellent. We have a sticker on. Where's the, where's the camera? There we go. And now it's not going to auto focus. But yeah, it's kind of like some sort of Reaper type thing. I think that's a spearhead tip. Great. Can make use of that. Yeah, okay, ah, there's a foot on a pace. <laughs> it's just still stuff. The gash is probably in these bigger bits, so we'll just put those to one side. Ah, another zombie. Excellent. I have a use for you, sir. Ah, the wheel. Got the spare wheel for the chariot. That's all the chariots with wheels. Ah, this is going to be fun to put together. So. That's actually a few little bits at the bottom. Just gonna pull out so I don't lose them. Ah, yeah, something for the chariot. So what's in here then? Oh, hang on. Hang on. So yeah, this. Oh wow, it's a carrion. Oh, I've always wanted one of these goofy little guys, and I finally got one. Oh, wow, thank you. Um, I've been after one of these for Warhammer Quest for some of the years, uh, some undead stuff, so yes. I want to use this for, that's amazing. I got, up uh, what? There's another one. That's a, oh no, there's three. <laughs> and now I'm three of the little goofy things. They ride on one, but I don't care, because... It's the bird eyes after, really. Uh, and two different heads as well. Let's see if I head one. So I think they're coming three heads, but I think, yeah. Two of one head, one of the other. I think there was three heads originally. One was more dragony. Keep it on. That is amazing. I've got three carrions. Just got to rebase them. So, wow, this. Wow. I'm just shocked by all this. It's so much stuff. I'm so grateful for this. This is amazing. So now this must be surely Nagash, the man himself. What we're here for? Yeah, there he is. There's his arms. And carefully, carefully, Nagash. Yay! Get rid of that. And, well, he said it wasn't good. If my camera would focus, uh, this is actually really well painted. I mean, the bone definition and this sword, the flame effect on this sword is amazing. Shame my camera is being such an idiot. Uh, you could have got away with set putting this as pro painted. I know it was a joke in the description, but I've seen so much more, so worse on, on eBay. 
In fact, I'm a bit, little bit worried because I do plan on stripping it and repainting it, but I don't think I'm going to get it to look as good as this. This is a... Do I cheat and just... I mean, look, that bone. I love that bone colour and the red eyes. It's going to be painted in a very similar style, but it'll be in my more slapdash fashion. That flame effect is great. Just something about it really reminds me of... Sort of old school painting and carrions are just such an amazing bonus thank you i just thought that's what i can say thank you for this this is been brilliant i shall look forward to uh sorting these out and getting these all brought back to uh to life undead life Pull back up. I like this guy. Look at him. He's he looks like his trousers are falling down when they're sort of rotted around these skeleton legs. I like him. He's great. Just so much stuff. Next up, I guess we may get strip him. So what I'm gonna do now is pop him in this pot and pour over some detail leave them in there for an hour, come in with a toothbrush and scrub off the paint and then give them a, a soapy bath. And I have stripped him of paint. Um, nice thing about um, stripping a paint using um, Dettol strip paint is it also softens any old super glue so you can just really easily get rid of that. Um, so I'm going to reassemble this now, undercoat it and paint it myself. I'm probably not going to show you my painting steps because I'm not a good painter. I have plans in future videos to improve my painting skills. Um, since Halloween month's done, I just want to get get this painted and be embarrassed because it won't be as good as what it was before. But ho hum, at least it's in my style, I guess. So. Uh.
and here he is all together. A little bit of green stuff on just to cover some gaps. Now I'm going to undercoat him. Uh, all skulls I'm going to do in Rathbone and the rest of him is going to be in a black. So I'm just going to do that now. And this is it all painted. Um, I didn't show the painting process because I'm not that good a painter. So I just painted it. But hopefully in the future that will change. I've got a series of videos where I'm looking at improving my painting skills. And after I did start here um, with this. Hope I'm pleased with it. It's, um, I don't know if it's better than how it was originally. Probably not. Uh, one thing I knew I wouldn't be able to get as good. What I like is the sort of red flame type sword. I sort of used inks to do it, so hopefully it's coming out. There is a bit of yellow at the end there. Uh, yeah, I was quite quite pleased with this. Finally got an old school in the gash. So there he is. Yeah. Very happy uh, with him. Yeah. I think I've sort of started an undead army, really. Anyway, that's, that'll be it for this video. Um, back to our bit more structured videos in the future. It's just a bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a hobby vlog, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Until the next video, guys, please take care.